this gang leader may be right about uh, the prime minister being the US puppet and uh, as you know uh, many many countries up to date consider US as a superpower and of which it's somehow a superpower so this prime minister could be just obeying what US is uh, telling him to do i think uh, there is no leader or rather no leader in any country who would accept to have a dialogue with uh, uh, someone who is like a terrorist let's call him a terrorist because uh, uh, what barbecue has done in haiti we've seen uh, to reach to a point that foreign soldiers are being sent to save the country is not a joke this person has uh, really brought a lot of problems to haiti and i don't think there is no uh, there is a way that uh, the prime minister of haiti would want to have a dialogue with him because uh, first he would think that this person wants to take over from from him and uh, be the leader of haiti hello guys welcome once again to the international news here on chris nolan tv today we are landing on haiti and today we have a guest we are going to discuss on what is happening in haiti before you continue introduce yourself all right my name is chris mololo i am a news anchor a journalist um, and uh, i'm glad to be here to talk about uh, this uh, wonderful discussion yeah mololo thank you so much the reason we have brought you here you are a, you are a, you are a news anchor and you are a journalist yes. you know very well that uh, the prime minister of haiti known as gary o'neil mm -hmm. wants to uh, the prime minister of gary on uh, of haiti called gary o'neil don't want to have a dialogue with a gang leader barbecue bar barbecue, barbecue have been keeping insisting that i just want a dialogue with you just give me time we have a dialogue and we solve this thing as haiti there's no need to bring foreign uh, soldiers to come to our place and fight for our land why why do you think that gary onel doesn't have does don't want to have a dialogue with barbecue what is the main reason as you as a journalist and as a new anchor what can you say about that i think uh, there is no leader or rather no leader in any country who would accept to have a dialogue with uh, uh, someone who is like a terrorist let's call him a terrorist because uh, uh, what barbecue has done in haiti we've seen uh, to reach to a point that foreign soldiers are being sent to save the country is not a joke this person has uh, really brought a lot of problems to haiti and i don't think there is no uh, there is a way that uh, the prime minister of haiti would want to have a dialogue with him because uh, first he would think that this person wants to take over from from him and uh, be the leader of haiti and for a person like this if he becomes a leader trust me he will be a dictator and i guess uh, that could be the reason why the prime minister is not ready for such a dialogue yes as you know very well that mololo the uh, the contract 
between uh, the Kenya police the Kenya who are in it was extended it was supposed to end this month and this week but the contract has been extended up to next year on October do you think the Kenya police are going to do something marvelous in it like they say the resident of it they are say they, they are saying that the Kenya police went there they are not doing anything but we as Kenyans we have seen what the Kenya police have done if it wasn't for the Kenya police this guy could not be able to rescue themselves you have seen what they have done yeah. that is the reason why the Kenya police police are so many over there like right now they are like um, they are uh, 600 600 Kenya police in Haiti 600 Kenya police in Haiti you know very well that they are the ones who are many so it means that the Haitians trusted in us they trust they cherish the cherish our Kenya police yeah. that is the reason why they want them but there are some residents in Haiti they are saying that the Kenya police they don't do anything they are just roaming the street What can you say about that? Uh you know when you do something you don't have to please anyone. If someone sees what you are doing, they will appreciate. And if they think you are doing nothing, then I think it's their opinion. For me, uh for the things I've seen uh the police officers from kenya have done something have done something and i think uh as uh, and i think that's the reason why the contract was extended because if they were surely doing nothing the contract would have ended right yeah true. so i think uh they had a reason to extend that contract because they have seen what uh the officers from Kenya have done they have seen uh the kind of work they have done to save the country and uh, to prevent some more killings from happening yeah the my last question is that uh, you know very well that barbecue is the leader of the G9 the reason by, by the way uh, it the the leader of the G9 that G9 is a gang in it and people thinks that the G9 gang is the most gang that have so many gang members but to be honest direct to the camera do, do, during our research we have noticed that the G9 has got only nine uh, it was it a uh, had got only like uh, 4000 gang members but the gang which is big in it is called 400 mawozo 400 mawozo has got like 19000 members that is the biggest gang and the reason why people talks about the G9 the gang of barbecue is because this gang is very famous and barbecue was in a military was in military before the assassination of their president who was called Juvenel Moise who was the president of Haiti so barbecue used to work for Juvenel Moise before the Haiti president was assassinated mm-hmm. so there is something that has come up barbecue because it's famous and it's being known for example there are so many uh, musicians that are singing well yeah. but people don't know them but there are musicians that have small songs yeah. and people knows and them people that is just what is happening right now in Haiti mm-hmm. let's go back to barbecue yeah. barbecue came up and say that the prime minister of Haiti is a united states puppet is an american puppet mm-hmm. that they want something from Haiti that is the reason why us is mostly interested in Haiti that is the reason why barbecue say that he is not agreeing with the prime minister and that's the reason why he don't want the prime minister he just want to talk mm-hmm. to come at uh, amicably and solve everything but he don't want to work with the prime minister just dialogue on how they can solve getting shares of Haiti yeah. what can you say about that is it appropriate for other countries to come and help Haiti like how the gang leader don't want to see that happening what can you say about that of course if uh, especially you know US is a superpower and uh, i'll talk about this in two sides maybe they want to genuinely help haiti or there's something they want from haiti this gang leader may be right about uh, the prime minister being the us puppet and uh, as you know uh 
many many countries up to date consider US as a superpower and of which it's somehow a superpower so this prime minister could be just obeying what US is uh, telling him to do and uh, the gang leader knows there's something US want from Haiti but i think about the issue of the can other countries coming to help they are preventing uh, the killings the injuries uh, all those results that come with the war in a country because when there is war you might find that people are being displaced people are becoming homeless and all that but this is something that uh, will take very long to solve because uh, there is a conflict there between the gang leader and the prime minister as you are finishing what is the wa last word that you can give the people of Haiti and the gang leaders as you are finishing um i think the gang leader should just uh, come down and uh, talk to the prime minister if he agrees uh because apart from the killings that are going on there i think if they all come into agreement and uh, they say look this is our country uh we have to know what we want if us want something from us and uh, we don't want to give uh, we don't want to give it to other countries we can just talk and agree to save our country and stop these killings because these are lives of people being lost and uh, i think as i said is something that will take long to solve but i hope uh, a solution is going to be found yeah that's true we just pray all well to have uh, everything that is in haiti to happen so well everything to be in control over there in haiti we pray always for peace peace yeah. peace that's what we pray for for those police that have lost their life there in haiti fighting the gangs god bless you continue with the good job that you did for Haitians and i know that the Haitians really appreciate for whatever that the police did and the people of Haiti who died from the hands of the gang it's very sad and condolence to all the family that lost their life during this gang until next time we say game over